Okay, this is going to be part four of the video series on L'Hopital's Rule. And I'll assume here that you've already watched the first three videos. If you haven't, I definitely would do that because it explains uh, how these rules are used. And you might remember uh, when we ran through them, this is a description of what the rules look like. And we also showed a series of steps, and those steps look like this. Um, so uh, to work a problem using L'Hopital's rule, then the idea had to uh, these three steps would guide you to the answer. Now again, if you haven't done it yet, definitely watch the first three videos and it will show you samples of all these. But what we're going to look at in this, this video is a problem in which uh, L'Hopital's rule does not apply and what happens if you try to incorrectly use it. So um, <clears throat> let's take a look at the sample problem. Now what the problem looks like is this right here. Suppose you had the limit as x approaches infinity of 2 e to the negative x divided by 4 plus e to the negative x. <clears throat> now, if you follow the steps, the first step says this. Um, <clears throat> you have to, first of all, test both the numerator and denominator to see if they result in one of these two indeterminate forms, either 0 divided by 0 or infinity divided by infinity. If it does, then L'Hopital's rule applies. <clears throat> you move on to step 2, and you go through the rest of the problem. Let's suppose you were lazy. You looked at it and you decided to skip step one, to not run this test to see if it applied, and took off directly on step two. And let's just see what kind of problems would result. So what we'll do on this thing, we're going to go directly to uh, step two. So step two says, and again, if you were working the thing, um, if the rule applies, find the derivative of both the numerators and the denominators. So you take off, you skip step one, and we'll go ahead and find the derivative of both the numerator and the denominator. So what you would have would be this. First of all, the derivative of the numerator, <coughs> um, you've got 2e to the negative x. So the derivative of this, <coughs> you've got the constant 2. And then remember, uh, when you've got an exponential function, it's the original function times the derivative of its exponent. So what this gives you is negative 2e to the negative x. So there's the derivative of the numerator. Now let's find the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of the denominator, you've got 4 plus e to the negative x. Well, <clears throat> the derivative of 4, that's a constant, so it's going to be 0. Then you'd have the derivative of e to the x, which would be the original function times the derivative of its exponent, so for the denominator, you get negative e to the negative x. So that takes care of step two. Now let's go ahead and move on to step three. And what step three says is now go ahead and try to find the limit of the quotient of the two derivatives. So in step three, we'll do this. We'll now find the limit as x approaches infinity of the derivative of the numerator, which is minus 2e to the negative x, divided by the derivative of the denominator, which would be minus e to the negative x. Now, on this one, you could have this. This would be the limit as x approaches infinity. And you've got an e to the negative x on the top and e to the negative x on the bottom. Those will cancel out and leave you with, <clears throat> basically, you've got a negative 2 over a negative 1, which turns into a positive 2. So you want the limit of a, when you go this, the limit of a positive 2 over 1, which would be the limit uh, as x approaches infinity of 2, and the limit of a constant is 2, and you might conclude that the answer to this problem is 2. Now the problem is that would be wrong. And the problem here is that you didn't do the first step. You didn't check to see whether L'Hopital's rule applies. So again, the very first step says you have to test the numerator and denominator to see if it winds up into one of these two forms. So now let's go back and belatedly do that step. So if you had actually done step one, here's what it would look like. Uh, you'd find the limit as x approaches infinity of 2e to the negative x. 
Now, what that's like having, that's like having 2 over e to the positive x. As x goes to infinity, then 2 over e raised to infinity, the entire thing would go to 0. So the numerator is going to go to 0. So now let's test the denominator. So we'll find the limit as x approaches infinity of 4 plus e to the negative x. <clears throat> okay, what happens on this one now? <clears throat> Again, you can think of e to the negative x as being 1 over e to the positive x. So as x goes to infinity, 1 over e to the x goes to 0. So this would turn into 4 plus, and this term is going to go to 0, which is going to give you 4. So what this means now is this. In the numerator, you wound up with a 0. In the denominator, you wound up with 4. Well, 0 divided by 4 does not satisfy. Now let's go back and look at the original forms. It either had to turn into a 0 divided by 0 indeterminate form or this form. Well, what it turned into, that's this would just be equal to 0. Uh, it turned into something that is... Uh, not indeterminate. That's a determinate form. So the, pro the whole problem here is that since uh, when you did step one, and we'll go back to the rules here, <clears throat> when you did step one, it did not turn into either one of these two indeterminate forms, so you should not apply L'Hopital's rule. So you never should have done the whole thing to start with. So that's why really all this stuff down here is incorrect. Now let's take a look real quickly at the correct way of solving these problems, see what the correct answer should have been. Now in this problem, let's just rewrite it again real quick. The limit as x approaches infinity of 2e to the negative x divided by 4 plus e to the negative x. Now real quickly, you can rewrite this again. Let's just rewrite it here. Now and this is x approaches infinity of, and we'll write this as 2 divided, let's take this e to the negative x and move it to the bottom and make it be e to the x. Then in the denominator, we'll make this one be 4 plus, and we'll do the same thing right here. Change this e to the negative x into 1 over e to the x. Now again, on this type of problem, this is the ones that you did a long time ago before you had L'Hopital's rule. If you take the limit as x goes to infinity, this entire numerator will go to zero. Uh, this term will also go to zero. So what you'd have left then, in the numerator you've got a zero, in the denominator you've got a four, zero divided by four is zero, and that would be the correct answer. <laughs> so again, I uh, just want to make the point that it's important to use uh, this first step. If you don't do the first step to test to see whether L'Hopital's rule applies, then you might run through all the steps and get an answer, but there's no guarantee that it's going to be the correct answer. So make sure this first step is very important when you do the L'Hopital's rule problems.